welcome to brain box kids today we are going to discuss about magnets so playing with magnets is fun right so let me tell you a story now this is a story of a shepherd so there is a shepherd named magnus he was once herding his sheep through the mountains while taking his goats and sheep for grazing to a mountain he used to carry a stick with a small piece of iron attached to it one day while his goats were grazing magnus dipped his stick into a spring of water and poked at the pebbles and stones at the bottom with it suddenly he felt something pulling his stick so when he took it out of water he saw a stone stuck to the iron cap so he noticed the ferrule of his stick and nails in his sandals got stuck to a rock can you guess what it is yes it is a magnet its name is lodestone it is a natural magnet and it has the property of attracting iron thus the magnets were not invented rather discovered and named after the shepherd named magnus as magnetite lodestones are natural magnets made from a substance called magnetite what are magnets i am sure that you could have played games with magnets right so magnets are a big part of our everyday lives from our cars to computers to the great earth we walk every day magnets are everywhere whether they are natural or man made either way a magnet is an object that creates a magnetic field there are two kinds of magnets that is the kind you find in nature like the lodestones and one more is the kind that people make like magnetic materials from steel iron cobalt aluminum etc magnets only attract certain type of metals like iron steel cobalt and nickel so the materials that are attracted by the magnets are called magnetic materials other materials such as glass plastic wood and paper they are not attracted by magnets right so the materials that are not attracted by magnets are called non magnetic materials either way a magnet is a metal or rock that creates a magnetic field and responsible for attracting other magnets and some metals now let us find some materials that will be attracted by magnets to do this first take a bar magnet nail jump clip any plastic scale a piece of glass brass key paper iron bolt pen blade pencil knife stainless steel spoon a piece of chalk wood and touch the magnet to each item does the magnet attract every object no right so first take a jump clip it is made of iron so it is attracted by the magnet yes now take scale it is made of plastic it cannot attract magnet right now a pen stand it is made of wood so it also can't attract the magnet paper it cannot attract the magnet now a iron nail so it is made of iron it is attracted by the magnet right so so far we have seen magnets as fun toys is it so 
No. So magnets are used in our everyday life for various purposes. A magnetic needle in a compass shows us the direction. Magnets are also used in MRI to diagnose the health problems. Magnets can stick any note on refrigerator doors to remember the important things and also used indoors in refrigerators to keep the door shut. And they are also used in food industries mainly to separate small pieces of metals from food grains. Some farmers, they give their cows a magnet to swallow because this small magnet attracts nails and wire a cow accidentally eats. So without the magnets, the metal would pass through the cow's stomach and damage the cow's internal organs. This is why farmers give the cows a magnet to swallow. And breakfast cereal we daily take often contains iron. Some cereals contain enough iron its pieces are attracted to a magnet. One of the main uses of magnet is in the production of electricity. And they are also used for certain high speed trains, computers, telephones, machines, compasses, computers, televisions, telephones and many more.